an hey, awesome we're... night. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We just went live. Very hello, good. Hello everybody in in plan and traffic uh chat room. For some reason we can't go live on Facebook. So if anybody is on Facebook, have everybody go to the crowdcast uh link that that got you here. So everybody can just come here and play. <laughs> so we are waiting on Lou. And we have our special guest in the chat room. We'll get him in in a second. Sounds good. I spoke to Hot Rod just a little while ago. We both had trouble on Facebook, so we think it's a problem with Facebook. It's been, I haven't been able to post anything all day, updates for the show or anything like that. So uh, it, it's probably mm -hmm. just a problem with Facebook. So um, not to worry. We're good on our end. Yep. Okay, good. Uh, Jim is taking care of Facebook for us. He's letting people know. Um, where we're at and the yeah john day just said facebook is screwed up so uh yep but you also can go to um uh youtube our youtube channel is live there as well so let's see i don't see lou jump in we'll get hot rod in right now All right, I sent him the link. Excellent. How's your dad doing, Tor? He's coming out of the hospital tomorrow, it looks like. Um, they got two of the three stones. The last one they're going to have to blow up <laughs> and take it out in pieces. But that's been another couple of months. But uh, thank God. Hey, look who's hey. here. <laughs> look, look who's here, Hot Rod. What's going on? What's happening? Uh, not much. How are you guys? Great, it's great. It's so good to see you. Good. Glad you can make it, man. You got some nice stuff hanging up in the background. Thank you. Oh, just, just ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, to, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Yeah. No, just, just royalty in the house. That's all we have to yeah. see here. So, uh, no, 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 don't, don't go there, man. <laughs> it's an honor to have you. Thank you for joining us this thank evening. You. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Absolute pleasure. We, uh, Lou's always late, so he should be here in a few minutes. That's right. He's probably combing his hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hair, one hair. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on? Where are you, where are you uh, out of? I'm in SoCal right now, where it's nice and cool. I think it's uh, about 70 degrees right now. It's like jacket weather for us. Oh man, we're we're over here. Let me see. We're at we're we're at 53 today, so it ain't too bad. That's that's thermals for us. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I apologize. We should have planned this out a little bit better. We should have had the meeting at, at at Hot Rod's house. This way, we can enjoy the warm weather and see all the artwork. And you know, we spoke on the phone the other day. I right. saw some stuff in the background which really got my curiosity. So, uh, I, all I can say is everyone's in for a huge, you know, treat tonight because uh, thank you. This, from your artwork to your, you know your collection of nostalgic items. It's just gonna make everyone's mind go pop. For sure, well, for thanks. sure. Yeah. So, if anybody has any questions, um, if you hit down at the bottom where it says "Ask Question," you can put it in there, and we'll we'll do the night go through them, and uh, you know, get them done. Absolutely, yeah. Ask ask away, man. Now's the time. All I'm right. gonna wait till Lou gets here because I don't want to start without him. But uh, <laughs> I'm besides, call him right now. Awesome, because the reason why everyone is here, it's for you and Lou. So um, yeah. hey, hey, and, and Lou, well, Lou we, <laughs> where Lou will be. Oh, is, is that tonight? Is that tonight? <laughs> That's tonight. Yeah. <laughs> well, Lewis, we're just a supporting staff. I mean, you know, everyone's here to see. I mean, we're we're a nice bunch of guys. Nice to have a beer together. But I mean, the main attraction, you know, is uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, I see how you are. Okay. No, but you're the man that makes it all happen, Lewis. So, you know, everyone's got their part, you know? Yep, yep. Okay, I just text Lou to see where he probably is sleeping. <laughs> sleeping or he's stuck in traffic. Let's go with that. Oh, wait. <laughs> I found him. He's, he's in. Hold on. Awesome. <laughs> he's coming. I think he's coming. I got him. He should be. 
I okay. didn't talk to him yet today, so you want me to call him and bother him or no, he's on. He's he's logging in now. Awesome. Very I'm, good. I hope that's the right Lou. It might be a different Lou. <laughs> it may be a different Lou. I, I hope. So. <laughs> nah, Lou's the one and only. So that those are tough shoes to fill. So that's true. That's true. Oh shit, what the hell? There he yeah, is. Hey, we know this guy. I was sitting there right here. you guys. <laughs> hey Lou. <laughs> I heard him. I heard Lewis. I just texted him. He must be asleep or something. <laughs> I, I said you're stuck in traffic. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> in my yard. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Vaughn? How you doing, man? Doing great. How you been? Man, I'm still above ground. You know how it is. Doing what that's I do. That's good. That's good. I think we passed each other in the airport. It's the last time we've seen each other. Yes, it was. I remember we we yeah. stopped briefly. Yeah. It was quick. It was it was crazy. But yeah, I remember that. Yes. Click this. You know, for whatever reason, I can't use my headphones on this one, so I'm putting them back while we while we get our act together here. Okay. So, so what do you got going on now, man? Oh, not much. You know, we travel, travel. I just got back from the Bahamas. I got back on um, Sunday night, and we did a oh, car show on a cruise ship. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That, that, Wait, yeah, a that's how's a blast. That, how's that? How's that freaking work? It's a virtual car show. It's you bring pictures of your cars, and the more pictures, the better the judges can see, so they can judge your car and get the award. But it's no seven way. days, all inclusive, and we had a blast. It was a lot of fun. Went to St. Thomas, Puerto Rico, some of the Virgin Islands out there. It was a lot wow. of fun. The main thing that's is, though, you know me, I do things for charity. So this was a a way to raise money for vet dogs that. When um, it costs about six thousand per dog, mm -hmm. and once you raise the money, it goes through training. Then it's assigned to a veteran, and that's what we raise right. the money for. So we raise enough money to do two dogs. That's awesome. So that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. Awesome, so we dude. did a little over twelve thousand. So that was nice. Yeah. You know what? You know what? I like to get that information because we we'd probably sure. like to do some stuff like that too. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. I'm working on one for uh, 2021. We're gonna do another one. I'm not sure where we're going. I got a couple of destinations in 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 mind, and just haven't announced it yet. But next right. year we're doing a, an all inclusive. We do a land version of a cruise ship, meaning everything's inclusive, and we do two to three shops and museums a day in Southern California. Cool. There's enough shops there, right? Yeah, that's, cool. that's cool, man. That's yeah, really cool. It is. It's a lot of fun. So we got a couple of buses. Uh, we pick you up at the airport, and you, I've got you for 10 days, and you don't have to worry about anything. And it's all taken care of, your hotels, your food, everything, and all the museums and, and shops and private tours. I can't let the secret out of the bag, but we you know, we have breakfast and lunch with different celebrities and, movie, and TV stars in the auto industry. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What dates do you have on that? That one is uh, end of April for 2020. End of April for 2020. End of April, and this year's uh, next year's charity will be Teen Challenge out of uh, Riverside, California. Okay, dude, so that's awesome. Dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a yeah, rehab a center for kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we would love to get involved in that any kind of way, you know. Sure, uh, absolutely. Yeah. I would definitely keep you guys posted and hold you to that. That's awesome. Okay, for sure. Yeah, you know, what we'll do after the show and stuff, you know. Uh, I'll give you a call and I'll write everything down and I'll get you know a formal list. This way we keep track of everything. It's Absolutely. just too much to do right. tonight, you know, being live. But I'll I'll make sure I follow up. Sure, and thank we'll you. Uh, get the information out there. No, thank you. Yeah, I mean, very dude, generous. If you, need, if you need me to be, if you need me to, to to come out there and we'll, you know, have breakfast or something. I don't, dude, I don't mind doing it. Especially, I mean, I, yeah. I, I'm gonna hold you to that. I'm definitely gonna hold you yeah, to that. I, That's awesome. Yeah, I'm big on I'm big on that on. On that whole that whole sure. thing, yeah. yeah. Perfect. I do the because you know, this year, this year's yeah. event for Teen Challenge is in a couple of weeks. It's March thirty one, and we do a concourse show. It's a it's a high end show. It's a, a right at a four hundred car limit, and the celebrities coming this year. It's it's myself, Barry McGuire, uh, Ralph Hogan from RMD Garage, mm -hmm. Mike Brewer and Ant are coming down from Wheeler Dealer. Um, let's see, we have um, a possible Aaron Hagar's coming out. And uh, I don't remember the list of who else is coming, who's confirmed, but we got a uh, Stacey Davis supposed to drop by. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We do a panel of celebrities on stage 
Then we do an autograph session. And my goal, my goal is to raise a million dollars in one day. And we're at about 300,000. Nice. Dude, that's awesome. God bless. That's awesome, Thank man. You. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I mean, I'm on, I've done a bunch of, a bunch of uh, charity stuff. I mean, right. All I ask is that, you, is that you get me there. Other than that, we're good. You know what I mean? Yeah. We'll talk. Like, we'll talk. Yeah, definitely. All right. I like it. Yeah. Cause I mean, like I've, I've done a bunch. I don't, if it's charity, I don't charge. All I ask is that you, you get me there and right go to the room. Thank you, my team. I'm there. And I'm there, and we'll we'll figure out the rest. There's nothing. I mean, it's just that simple to me. But that's what yeah, I do. You're it good. Works. You're good with a TV, right? <laughs> Believe me, that's what works. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I've slept in way worse. I promise you that. <laughs> oh, me too. I know what you mean, Lou. I just—I know what you mean. I slept in a swamp one time, and the only thing was out of the water was my face, like that. Uh, so in the water. Not good. That would never happen. Yeah, nasty. So yeah, TP, <laughs> fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> money. That's, awesome. that's high. That's high living, right that's there. That's the hotel rich, right there, buddy. You have no idea. <laughs> that's, that's the rich. <laughs> you ain't that's, about that. <laughs> that's awesome. But no, that's. Dude, that's cool that you're doing that stuff. That's way cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah if you need it, if they need anybody needs information, uh, Nicole, Nicole McGuire is uh, the organizer of the event, uh, Barry McGuire's daughter. And mm -hmm. you can read her at uh, Rod Shows, Rod Shows with an S, dot com. You can go to the website. Or you can always Google Benedict Castle Concourse and you can find <laughs> out information. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, it's all there. But Rod Shows dot com is the website. All right. And you said it's Nicole? Yeah, Nicole McGuire. Yeah. Yeah, she's a show organizer and the show founder. Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm I love doing that stuff because, you know, I'm a vet. You know, uh, the, the charity thing is just one of those things. And it just right. it, it it pays back in ways that, that people don't even imagine. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. So it absolutely, makes and good. and I'm one. I'm one for kids and vets. That's my biggest thing. And keeping the money here in the state. That's my biggest thing. I don't. Yeah. I, it's great and fun sending money overseas, but I want to see evidence of that my money's being used for good use here in the right. states. We got enough needs here that yeah. I don't want to see it paying staff or paying a plane ride or anything like that, which yeah. is all good and fine. But I want to see my money here. Evidence of it is is here on campus when we do this yeah. show. You can see the results. <laughs> we have over. 300 kids that volunteer. I call them kids. They're from 18 to, to 30. And mm -hmm. um, I dress them in red shirts so you can see them and hear their story and talk to them. And it, they park the cars. They handle everything you can possibly imagine. So it's a blast. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. That's Yeah. I'm on board with that. Yeah, if, no, I'm not shooting her, if I'm not shooting her at another show, give me a holler, man. We'll figure it. I'll get I out. Will. Yeah. Well, I'll, I we'll will. figure it out. That's just. Sweet. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, we'll we'll find a sponsor to get it get it get it. You know, yeah, that's just to me. It's just worth it. It really is. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, then there's there's my shameless plug. Plug. There you go. <laughs> nice. There you go. There's the day. Yeah. That's yeah. All. all right. There's my shameless plug. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Just keep us posted, and we'll keep cross promoting. If there's an event coming up. You have our, you have my information now. Just yeah. let me know. Absolutely. And I'll put it on the playing traffic page. I'll put it on loose page. Yeah. Perfect. I'll put it on Thank my you. social media. I'll tag you. We'll get we'll get the message out there because Thank you. you have a you have a big heart, your generosity. I mean the mission, the message, I mean, how can you not love it? So yeah. right. people need to know all that. So right. um, and, you know, it's sad that we live in a click and go society now and, and kids are always, you know, on some kind of substance. It doesn't matter if it's you know, substance, alcohol, or pornography, it doesn't matter. They're addicted to something. And because of this event, we've had 12 hot rodders and their family absolutely put their kids in the program, and they've graduated from the program. It's a year program. It costs uh, 15000 a kid to house them there. It's free of charge. It's all done wow. by donations. So 12 hot rodder families have sent their kids through, and they've graduated and have a great success rate of it, all because of this car show. And that, to me, is well worth it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. But, you know, my, my philosophy, I, I have a degree, a two year degree in social work. And I was working with troubled kids before I stumbled into TV. And my philosophy always was if you can reach one in 10, you're doing good. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. You know I mean? absolutely. Because it's, totally because it's so hard. It's just so hard. Yeah. So if you could do and and actually my uh my oldest son who just came in, he just got a teaching job and he's he's working with special needs kids. Nice. That's what, he's teaching that. He's teaching that. So yeah. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Pretty cool. That's neat though. Good. That's really neat. Yeah. yeah. So other than other than doing the charity thing, what have you striped anything cool? Have you painted anything cool lately? Well, I mean, you know, what, as I said before, you know, I travel a lot, so I'm amazed yeah. at what people bring me to shows. You know, it's their one chance in a lifetime to, you know, either meet me or have something striped by myself. Not saying that I'm the greatest, but, you know, they bring something up and just you get your typical cell phones, laptop computers or your air yeah, 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 yeah. box door. Yeah. But I was at an event. In um, Tennessee, and I saw this big old square thing because I don't get to see much. Whatever's in front of me is all I get to see. And here's this square thing walking down the aisle, and I thought, "What in the world is this?" And believe it or not, the guy brought a car to the car show, took the hood off his car, and brought it into me to strike. <laughs> and I joked around with him, saying, "Well, what are you going to do? Take this back and bring the trunk?" He goes, "Yep." And then he goes, Hold the hood and come back with the trunk. So, I think that's pretty cool. That's a die hard, you know. So that's, that's what I'm amazed about. Um, Scottsdale, Arizona had a good guy show. A guy walks up and asked me if, um, what's the weirdest thing I'd striped? And I said, at that time, it was a, you know, a bedpan or a gun, because those are kind of odd. And he goes, well, would you stripe a glass eye? I said, absolutely, sure, as long as it's not in your head. <laughs> so he popped the glass eye out, laid it on the table, and I pinched it. <laughs> that's awesome. What do you put on it? Wow. What do you put on yeah. it? Yeah, so that's that's what's what's strange is I like what people bring me, you know. Right now, KitchenAid seemed to be the mm -hmm. trend. Is ladies? I was in um, at SEMA, and a lady from Min from Montana brought her KitchenAid mixer. Now that's no light thing to carry. Brought it all through SEMA to put it on the plane, dra drag it all through SEMA, and had me stripe it at the SEMA show, and then took it's it. It's funny you said that because I'm getting ready to paint my wife. I just told her the other day, and I'm. Gonna I'm gonna, there you I'm go. Paint it. Yeah. That's so fun. Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of metal flake goes a long <laughs> way. That's awesome. That is awesome. So did you just strike yeah. it? Did you just yeah, so, it? Needless to say, I love the fans. They <laughs> they are the ones that have made me. I didn't do any of this stuff. They're the ones, and I just appreciate that they still want me to, you know, give their their items the von touch. Yeah, yeah. I, say. Well, I mean, hell, you've been doing this for a long time, mm -hmm. so yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we celebrated last year, uh, 2018, was my 30th SEMA show. Wow, oh, God man. bless. Yeah, yeah. And then being a, making appearances there and autograph sessions for um, right about, you know, 15 years mm -hmm. around in there. Wow. So I'm just thankful that they keep calling me back. Yeah, no kidding, <laughs> right? Because, you know, you, 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 yeah. could be, you could be coming back and then the next day they, they forget who you are. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah yeah but they don't see that post for a day they're wondering whatever happened exactly. to that guy <laughs> Gee. that's, cool, that's awesome that's how'd awesome. you get started in pinstriping Thanks. or is that where you started as pinstriping or no actually no um dad was a drag racer sprint car driver and when i was born mom said quit racing well you can't do that to a guy that's you know that runs petrol through his blood yeah. So he started building hot rods, street rods, custom cars, and bikes. And since I was the boy, I was the guy handing him wrenches and working on cars with him side by side. My problem was I hated spending Saturdays going to junkyards and guys' garages and speed shops hunting down mm -hmm. parts. So, you know, very young, I said, well, why don't we just open up a shop like Target where you can buy everything right. on one roof? And Dad said that never happened because it's, it's too much of a mix. It's too broad of a... A genre of stuff so i kept that mentality and then junior high i was writing a proposal of how i wanted my own business just by myself a teacher saw that kind of guided me through that how to write one up and just kept that mentality i graduated from high school as an average kid i was making money off of the guys that had the the camaros and mustangs in school i was the guy installing the right. headers and putting the wide tires on it you know with the uh, u.s mags and the side pipe because that yeah. was the trend so i was making money off of them and then when I graduated, I went to, uh, to college. And, you know, the week I was there was really good. <laughs> the week. <laughs> like, 
Yeah, I got in the middle of class and stood up and said, this is going to take way too long. I'm out of here. And I walked out of class and the instructor yelled at me and said, you'll never amount to anything. And I spun around and said, watch me. And, you know, got a job where the, the pay was high, kept flipping cars, working on hot rods and street rods, and then opened up my own business. And I called it Hot Rods. And I had it for 20 years, sold it. And, you know, now I've been doing appearances. But as for pinstriping, I was a car builder shop fabricator however you want to look at a hot rod builder for years and as i flip cars i'd have a striper stripe them right. and pay him cash on a saturday and then um gave me attitude and you know you don't do that my money's good and said you know get out of my shop here's your money i'll do it myself i'll figure it out so i grabbed a can of paint wrong paint grabbed the brush wrong brush and kind of splashed some paint around a striper walked in and asked me what i was doing i said i, I need to learn how to pin stripe in a couple days I said, well, you'll never learn with that stuff. Try this brush, try this can, and by the time the can is empty, you should not have stripe. <laughs> so I just played with it at my counter in the front in the front showroom, and as I say, the rest is history. I started striping my own cars, not telling anybody I was the striper right. on the cars. And when I sold, when I sold my business, um, a promoter found me. I took a year off and travel. The promoter found me and asked if I'd do appearance at his hot rod show, and I said, no, I'm kind of out of the industry. He upped the salary and I said, well, what time do you want me to be there? <laughs> and so I, I showed up and I said, well, I don't want to just sit there with a picture of myself and sign autographs. And what if nobody's there? So I brought some paint and a, a piece of metal. I said, I'll just splash some paint around, take up some time. And MySpace ended yeah. up there. So MySpace had just started. So people were taking pictures of me pinstriping and posting. Von Hot Rod was here, the pinstriper. And so social media has tagged me Holy as a pinstriper. Shit. So that's that's awesome. Man. That's the story how I got started. I know it's a little no, long, no. but that's so it. You've been doing, you've been doing yeah. it. Yeah. And so self-taught, self-learned out of frustration. And I said, if I'm going to learn, I'm going to learn the right way, which is I don't draw a grid. I don't pre-sketch anything. I make it up in my head. I follow the theme of the car. And that's what somebody's paying for is that 30 year experience that I've been doing it. So the other thing is John Day wants John Day wants to know how do you pick your brushes and what are they made of? That was that's the question that just popped up on the screen. Sure. Uh, my brushes are made out of squirrel hair. They are custom made by Mac Brush. They're um it's hard to see. Let me try to find that there it is. <laughs> Yeah, and you can see it's there's there's the Von Harrod name where it's saying focus. That's right. They named the brush after you. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, they're made by Mac Brush. It's my design, my hair count, my hair layout. They call me Master of the Fine Line. So the brush is designed to do the type of work right. I do. And um, they're great. I mean, it's the pin driving brushes haven't changed. They started, you know, way in the early 40s. And the design of the brush really hasn't changed. The difference is they're thicker, thinner for wider or thinner right. lines. And you know, there's the old theory is you buy the brush, you cut it to adapt to what you need to, and you don't have to do that anymore. There's hundreds of brushes out there now that you can buy, whether you buy mine or buy somebody else's, buy a good brush. You're going to spend about 20 bucks yeah. on a brush, so make sure you buy a right. good one. Well, I remember. But yeah, you can go to Mac, MacBrush.com and find all the brushes. I remember when uh, when I was still in school, I was a kid, Tom Itchy Otis used to live out in Long Island. Yeah. And I lived yeah. around a corner from a guy named Fat George. He had a 34 two-door sedan. And Itchy knew Fat George. And I remember when Itchy went <laughs> to California. He had his he was towing his roadster with right. his 55 Chevy truck. He gave me a pinstriping brush. And I'm talking, this was like 77 right. when he gave it to me. Yeah. And then it was <laughs> and then when I was doing muscle car uh, 10, 12 years ago. I was at the Sacramento Autorama and I saw Itchy again. And of course he didn't remember me because I right. was, you know, I was I was all grown up, but we got to talking and I and once I told him where I lived and all that, he was like, Oh my God. And he, he remembered. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. That's I'm great. Probably, yeah, yeah. He's a great guy. He's a he's in New York now. I he? don't know. I never I don't really Yeah. I don't want to remember. I saw a post on Facebook. He was doing stand up. Oh my God, really? <laughs> yeah. So that'd be fun. That'd be interesting. I'd love to go and just start, you know, yelling yeah, at him. No, hey! did, he, did he leave? Yeah. Did he leave the pinstriping game and went back to New York? Or? No, I think he still does it, but I know he's in New York. And uh, that's just a post I saw on Facebook uh, about a I'll year ago. I'll try and track him down. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's that that's my my pinstriping story. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, and then um, there's a there's a show in Atlanta. It's a Motorama at the at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. And this guy, Bruce, puts it on. And don't ask me Bruce's last name because I can't remember it. But he's an old hot rodder. And he has, they raise money for uh, children's speedway charities. They raise money for that. Mm-hmm. With, with the, uh, they sell panels and bowling pins that, that have right. been striped, all that stuff. So I go do that. Right. I go do that and hang out there for the weekend. I've been doing that for a few oh, years. Cool. I go there and, and I do the auction with Bruce. And that's huge comedy, you know, yelling at people. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. I'm sure that's fun. Yeah. Bruce is the mild man, and I'm like, "Hey, bid, bid." <laughs> <laughs> that's sweet. I love that. I got a microphone, so I can be heard. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I love doing auctions. Um, we do. I do. I own the Pinstripers reunion that I do. Same concept of, you know, we do a live auction, raise money for charities. And same out of necessity, the auctioneer was talking and telling him about his life. And I'm like, dude, you're here to auction items off. Quit talking. He kept talking. So kind of like throw him off the stage and said, I'll just do it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> exactly. so I started, you know, just auctioning any of these things. And then the next thing I know, I get hired for all these other auctions. And so, yeah, <laughs> so I've been raising money for just different auctions. And I, I, I literally make it oh, up yeah, in my yeah, head. So yeah. I like doing them. They're a lot of fun. And. I just, I was on that cruise ship. We do live auctions. So I was the auctioneer That's there and, so bidding, you know, auctioning stuff off. Oh, well, that had to be a blast. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Definitely. It is. It is really funny. It's a lot of fun, actually. The problem with me is I lose yeah. track. Yeah. Is I'm saying everything so fast. I'm doing, a, like, say 100, then jump to 150, and I repeat the 150 several times, and I jump to 200. And then it dawns on me, was I at? The bid at 150 or was it at right. 200? Is it 200 going to 225? As long as you don't go back, it's never, all good. <laughs> it is. I have to have an assistant that keeps telling me in my ear, you're at 200 or whatever the case is. See, <laughs> see I don't funny. go fast. I don't go fast because I'm, I'm carrying yeah. on while I'm doing it. So, I just, like, I'm, you know, <laughs> I give everybody names. It's funny because I don't know anybody. Right. And, you know, like, there could be some guy with a. <laughs> With you know a, a Tommy Bahama shirt, and I'm like, hey Tommy Bahama, what do you got? <laughs> I'm just calling people. Up Maybe that's what I need to do is is slow it down and, and play that's with what the I do. I just play with it, and then you know Bruce. Whenever they bid, Bruce keeps track of it because Bruce is on stage with me, and yeah. he's like, okay, we got you know seventy five, and then I'm, and then, right. so we just get all these. You know, I just I just give everybody names, and it just works. <laughs> I like it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that advice it just works. and try it. I mean, you know, what it, it could be, you know, it could be like a guy with a beard down to his belt button. I'm like, hey, bearded man, what do you got there, you know? Or I'll call him bearded <laughs> lady, you know? <laughs> Whatever comes out. I love it. <laughs> That's great. So, yeah. And, it's, and then, like, if some guy, like, I had one guy, I think he got pissed at me at first, but he realized I was just, you know, just being a smart ass. But he came walking through, and right. I told him, I said, if you walk through again, you got a bid. And he just looked at me kind of baffled. I said, you've walked through here twice. You can't keep walking through here and not bid. So he bid. <laughs> right. Yeah, dude, you know that's what it's about, yeah. Give me that extra five bucks, exactly. ten bucks for the charity. I love it. You can't just keep walking yeah. through here and erupt this shit. You got a bid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did he win? No, he didn't win, but he, but he didn't come back. Okay. I'll tell you what, though, he didn't come back through till after the <laughs> oh, That's back awesome. Back. We do, um, at that, that castle show, we do a dinner for eight at Barry McGuire's house. We do that on the auction block, and we do a cruise around the bay with Mike and Ann Brewer uh, and lunch with them. So those are the two highlights of our auction we do at the cool. castle. So you can have dinner. Barry McGuire at his house. Yeah, and ate at your friend. That's really cool. That's awesome. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Like yeah. Must be nice to have a table to fit eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's in the garage. It's in the garage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's where all the cool stuff is anyway. So yeah. I know. It is. That's awesome. He's a car guy, so it, it makes perfect sense. <laughs> it does. Speaking yeah. of cars. Everybody's got <laughs> Everybody's got that signature piece in their house, right? Yeah. Well, that's why I want to ask you, what's your signature piece in your house? Mine? Oh, yeah. 
Um, I think you have a picture of it, right? I do. <laughs> but I, I know a, the answer. I want everyone else to know the answer. The backstory on a, it was so good. You know, I'd love for you to share it. All right. I used to run a front engine dragster in the 80s. It's just a replica of something that's built in the 60s. And um, my business got really busy, so I didn't have time to race it. So I parked it. And I'm thinking, man, I got to do something with this. Everybody wants to buy it from you, but they want to give you a couple right. hundred bucks. And you got more on one tire than that. So one time I was watching TV and I looked at this wall in my house and thought, you know what? This can work. So I have my digger dragster hanging in the wall in my house. So you walk in my house, it's the first thing you see. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Yeah. Lou, at least yeah, would throw me out. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's super cool. Everybody, that's the first thing they look at. They're like, they, you welcome into your home and you open the door and their eyes go right to it and they walk straight over to it and touch it and bang on it. And they go, this thing's real. I said, yeah, it's real. <laughs> Took me two days to get it up there. Of course it's real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's cool. it, it really yeah. is. Lewis, I sent you a picture of it if you want to show it on the screen before yeah. you know I leave and Ray comes back on again. But there's another question I have for you, though. <laughs> There's a very special 50 Ford, which I yes. absolutely loved. Can you tell the story about that car, please? Sure. Um, when I opened up my shop, you know, you to make the investment to open up, I sold all my cars and everything I had and took all the money I stockpiled and opened up my shop. And I always wanted a – my dad had always talked about a 1950 Ford that he wanted to build and uh, just never got to it. He got married. Things all changed. Life got in the way. So when I had some money, I found one. It was a chicken coop in the city of Yucaipa, California. And I knew what the car was because it's the short one with a steel back, no back seat. So I drug the car out of the dirt. Uh, the motor was frozen. It uh, didn't roll, of course. So it's a 1954 business coupe. It's got a flat motor in it out of a 50 Merc with a three-quarter cam, off the head, four-barrel, Magneto, um, still on the three-speed. But it's a typical high school custom. It's nose, it's decked, it's French. It's not chopped because back then kids in high school didn't have the extra right. money to, to right. chop the top. And it's the first car I built when I had some money. So I've got a lot of money in that car at that time. I built it over 30 years ago. And to this day, it looks exactly That's the same. Cool. About 15 years ago, I, I hid the car because it won all the awards, you know, at different shows and stuff like that. So I hid the car. Dennis Gage filmed an, an episode here at the museum. And that's the first time the car has been seen in 15 years. And people ask me about it. I kind of like, yeah, 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 I still got it. Kind of blow by it. And, yeah, I'm almost ready to bring it back out. I need to put a new headliner in it. The headliner's starting to, to sag a little bit because uh, just in time. But I still drive it. Still runs perfect. Nothing wrong with it. It's a great car. But I sent a picture in so you guys, if you get a chance, you can post it. It's just like a, a dark maroon color. It's got a set of lake pipes on it, white whites, uh, and Fiesta hubcaps with um, extra blades in it. It's nose and deck, shaved door handles, and white tech and roll, white banjo steering wheel, white dash. It's just your typical high school custom. It has a record player inside of it. So <laughs> That's it's awesome. got tech and roll in the wheel wells and tech and roll under the hood. It's back in style now is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's totally cool. back in style. All right, it's I'm going to pull, I'm gonna pull up a picture, but I got to bump uh, Tori off. Okay, I'm gonna, I have one more quick question for you. I'm going to go. Yes. Uh, my other question is, uh, tell the guys about your role in uh, the movie Catch Me If You Can. Oh, that's right, yeah. I worked on that film for two and a half months. I did. Uh, they used three of my cars, two of my caddies, a 67 and a 61 Cadillac, and my 64 Buick convertible. Uh, that car is now in New Zealand. I did a lot of walk-on for Catch Me If You Can. I worked with Leonardo mm -hmm. DiCaprio and Tom Hanks and it was a blast. It's a lot of fun. Unfortunately, I ended up on the cutting oh. floor. And what's crazy is when I went in there for wardrobe, they're like, okay, we're going to cut your hair. I'm like, no, 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 you don't understand. You don't cut my hair. Well, we need to shave off your sideburns. I'm like, no, that's not going to happen. I'm, I'm I, Never mind. I don't need this. And they're like, well, wait a minute. Do you know where you are? I said, no. Somebody wanted me in this movie, and here I am. They go, do you know where you're at? I said, no. They go, you're at Steven Spielberg's private studio nobody is supposed to know about this place and i go really because you're you'll be in a movie with tom hanks leonardo DiCap dicaprio jennifer gardner and i said all right let's cut my sideburns <laughs> so they parted my hair on the side <laughs> cut my sideburns i look like a beetle it was really funny you can't recognize me at all so yeah we did a lot of, of, of things you know, in pasadena and burbank and uh, ontario the old airport now 
the the original the real guy frank abernack i met i used yeah. to uh, have a repo company and we went and did a um a repo conference in florida and he was the speaker and um he was telling us yeah, yeah he's pretty, pretty cool, cool dude he was telling us all about the movie that was gonna come out and you know he's a really cool dude yeah. man smart yeah. smart yeah he just he totally thought outside oh, yeah. the box i mean it's unfortunate he was a criminal <laughs> but he thought outside the box and it worked oh, it, it really worked it, it, and he did all that before he was 19. Right. I know. He I know. passed it's the bar. Crazy. The the lawyer the take the bar Lord test. Did. He passed that before he's yeah. nineteen. And it was there was um, <laughs> without doing a stint I remember, I remember when I was yeah. when I was growing up in New York when they were uh, when they busted him because they had it on the news and he was oh, talking yeah. about how yeah yeah you know how he would how he paid two girls and they would dress up as, as mm -hmm. airline stewardess and and they would travel with him and all that and he he took these girls all over the place. It was crazy. To, this, the stuff he was saying was just phenomenal. It was just yeah. phenomenal. I mean, he just. <laughs> but what's, and like what's funny is when he talks, he's like one tone. But mm -hmm. he's so interesting yeah. that you have to, you're stuck to him. You're like, wow. <laughs> no. Yeah. 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 He was on set. He was an advisor, you know, saying, no, that's not like how it was done. It was done like this. And it was, it was more over here. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. I liked yeah. it. It, it's funny though because he did all these forgeries and he made a ton of money before he was yeah. you know 20 years old and meanwhile yeah. all the safety features on checks that we know today oh, he's the guy that they hired to design yeah. them because he's yeah. the one that broke every rule right. anyway right. 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 you know so yeah that must be his blessed. power for good yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah exactly exactly yeah that's great so let me run because I'm gonna let you know Lewis uh bring uh Ray uh Guarino from Motormouth radio on but right. I'm going to end with this thought. You had a record label, and and Ray is just absolutely goes nuts over, you know, classic music. He's so I'm going right. to I'm going to segue into that, okay? All right. And you could discuss the record label. I'll be uh, tuning cool. in as well, you know. And sure. thank you for coming by. It was a real pleasure for me uh, to be a part of this, and uh, we'll talk thank real you. soon, okay? All right. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Later, Tori. My my youngest wants to say hello. Not really hello, but we'll lean in so you can be seen. Get the hell out of the way. I am out of the way, jackass. <laughs> that, that's there you go. There's my that's dragster. That's my living room. Dragster, <laughs> this living room. Is that not insane? Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> yeah. You know, I for fun I got in it just to see what it was like because I haven't sat in it so long. And gravity kicked in. I couldn't get out. Because <laughs> you know your your legs go over the rear yeah, yeah, end. Yeah. You know you got to climb yeah. in there. I couldn't get out. Yeah. I couldn't get my legs back out. The radio show with when, like, well, oh, we, that one years ago. Yeah, I can't remember his name. I can't remember. Because I, re I remember he did that. I think he's gone first, now. Then yeah. I remember the very first thing I said to him. I remember that guy was on TV. That's one who lost. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but. You're not in the camera. Look, you need to calm down. I you need to just get I have, done. We got to I have it. one thing I want to do. We're talking about. I'm about trying to be Vaughn. I just want you to know you're missing a lot of stuff. <laughs> that's the that's his car. Look, let me have my moment. There's my Heavy moment, quick. I just want you to know today has been a stressful day. <laughs> I am about to go relieve from stress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really hope. We know who we know whose son that is. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the that's the high school merc. The yeah, that's my high school car. That's, yeah, that's awesome. There. That's cool. Thank you. I like that it's not chopped. Everybody chops those. Yeah. And, and yeah. Everybody trips out on it because of yeah, that. It's not it's cut. Got cut up. That's cool. It's I, cool. Yeah, it's just a simple, simple fifties high school high school car. What I what I would like to do is get three of them right and do yeah. do each one of the three different styles one leave one unchopped you know how some guys are chopping like it's a fastback and then other guys are just lower right. the lid and, and do all yep. three so when you park them together you can see exactly how all three are how they look see that's a good that's, that's you know good because like you know, cause how often do you see the three different styles together right you know yeah never together they're always right. apart you know you can See one on one side of a car, so one on the other side, but they're never right. Side by side. And, and that's, I think that would be really cool to, to do something like that. 
because you know each one of them takes right. way different work to do to you know to do the fastback. Oh, yeah. That's a whole different animal than just lowering the lid. You know, it's just, it's. I think right. it would be cool oh, to do something like that. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> I think that'd be awesome. So where's where's Ray? Is Ray coming? I'm not seeing him in the in the room here. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't think he's here. I ran away. Yeah. So he's stuck in traffic. Where's um? Yeah, he's in traffic. Where's your uh? Where's your your museum lo located at? <clears throat> your shop. Um, it's very, it's very private, and I won't say. Oh, okay. That. I didn't know. I yeah. Didn't know. Yeah, I'm in SoCal. Right. Where I'm at. I knew that. I, did, I knew that. Yeah. So is, is it open to the public, or is it just open to, to people you know? It's mostly by appointment. Got you. Got you. Yeah, I used to be very public, and we had a few things happen, oh, so we just yeah. had to do it this way. Because yeah. No, I get it. I get it. That's a. Yeah. Because you know, I'm in, I'm on social media a lot, and I'm gone a lot. So yeah, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's just unfortunate the society we live yeah. in now. So you gotta be careful. Yeah, see, like I don't post anywhere where I'm going, just for that reason. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I yeah, yeah, I post after I come back. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to. That's yes. Yeah, you know, people want to come out and drop by and say hi, so I gotta let them know where I'm going and what city I'm in now. Right, right. Yeah, where are you going next? Uh, I've got one close by, Costa Mesa, California, classic auto show. I got one Saturday and Sunday, right. and they've been doing a lot of uh, pleasure. They've got a full line of celebrity. They've got all, like Bogey for uh, All Girls Garage is going to be there. Jesse Combs is there. Uh, Mike Brewer, Ant is there. Uh, Barry McGuire, Wayne Carini, Stacy David, um, Ken Block. I'm trying to go off the top of my head. But yeah, they've got a full lineup. Ooh, it's going to be great. It. We have a lot of fun. That's a, that's a lot of people. It is. It is. They've got. It's almost like it's a. Well, it's not. It's Motor Trend TV now, so it's it's almost all the celebrities on Motor Trend are going <laughs> right, to be there. It's right. really, really almost all, almost all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, almost. All. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> one of those things. It's so big. It's the way it is. <laughs> I try to tell Lou to take cake and candy into the into the uh, place with him, but he won't listen. Nah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't worried about it. Don't bother me at all. I'll get over it. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't get invited to a lot of that stuff, me and Jared. We just don't get invited to it. But that's okay. You know? I got stuff yeah, I can do. It. You know? I part time teach. Right, right. I do my own thing. I ain't worried about it. It's something new. Good. Yeah, there's plenty of room out there for there's so much thing. I started <laughs> Uh, teaching at uni high schools and universities now, doing like in their so-called shop classes that they don't have right. anymore, trying to bring that back. Because, you know, like I said, nowadays, if it's not an app, the kids don't want to mess with it. And what we do is all hands-on. Right. Everything, it's a right. trade. It's a blue collar trade. And so I'm trying to bring that back. The problem is, is when I go talk at a high school or college, I always ask them, well, how many kids have your license? And, you know, like two or three will raise their hand. And I'll ask how old they are, and they'll say, you know, 18, 19, depending on the class. And I'll ask when you got your license, and most of them say about six months to a year. And nobody does it. They Uber everything, or they, you right. know, they share ride yeah. share. And I go, don't you why guys want to get in and drift on a car or grind the gears, yeah. get a second wheel chirp, and they're just not yeah, interested. Interested. So I always encourage the older generation to to take a kid to a car show and let them let them ride in your car, and if you you have it, let them drive your car because there's. There's nothing like a second wheel. Exactly. Trip. There's nothing exactly. like that. Yeah, I, I get it. I mean, I'm the same way. It's just, yeah. You, you got to, the bigger problem is, is you got to get them out of looking on their, their phone for everything. Once right. you do that, they start right. realizing that, that, that it's different. There's, there's more to it than the phone. Yes. You know what I mean? It, it's it's Right. I mean, they're great watching the YouTube video, but I say, don't you want to do that? Don't you want to have that sensation of what it feels like, you know, to just, you know, white knuckle mm -hmm. it and be at the edge and, you know, yeah, watching your tack red yep. line. I go, you've got to experience that feeling because they look at cars as transportation. Now they don't look at it as collecting and we still look at it as collecting because you got to yeah. remember if for us, it, it, it's a need. It's not a right. want. We don't, you know, we don't need the car. We want right. the car. So. They don't have that love affair. No, no. And that's what I, I go around and I always try and let them know that it's it's about that. It's about 
doing something with your hands and, and getting it dirty. And, you know, it's fine. You can hire somebody to do that, but jump in there a couple of times and, and just try it. And it's an experience you, you won't yeah, regret. You're oh, right. you're hooked. <clears throat> you're right. Ray must have went to sleep. <laughs> they, so said, they said he was in the, in the chat room, but I don't, when I pull it up, he's not there. He must have went to sleep. I don't know. That's all right. I have more questions yeah, exactly. anyway. So. Then ask your question, Corey. <laughs> ask your question. Well, what do you got? Uh, also, you won the SEAM Award for the best new product as well. I did. Congratulations. I did. I did. I, um, I did. You remember the Grant Metal Flake steering wheels back yeah, in the day? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there wasn't anything to match it when you put it in your car. You know, guys would flake the roof or do some pin striping to kind of match the, the right. wheel. But the shift knob would always be white or black yeah. and have a shift pattern on it, or they put a skull or a pool ball. So I got this wild idea to make metal flake gear shift knobs to match that Grant steering wheel. So what I did is, um, it's a metal flake shift knob. It's got pinstriping inside of it, and then it's resin clear over the top of it, so you can't wear the pinstriping down. And I, you know, debuted it at SEMA, and it got best new product for SEMA in 2018, mm -hmm. and and in um, it also got actually got the SEMA Global Award too. That means that's everybody out of the United States country voted on their best new product. So it got two awards. It got the SEMA Man. Award, and it got the SEMA Global Award. That's awesome. So I was cool. pretty, pretty stoked about that. So where can yeah. we yeah, it's very cool because it's a shift knob and it's comp and it's right next to somebody that came out with a new fuel efficient program that could get your car better fuel mileage <laughs> and then a stainless steel suspension part and here's his little shift knob right next to it. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. It's not about miles per gallon; it's about smiles per gallon. So exactly. right. that's right. They picked the, right. They pick the right, right the right one to win. So you got to remember. You gotta remember, chrome is a color. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is. So where can we Absolutely. get one at? Where can we get a shift knob at? Um, you can just message me on Facebook or Instagram and send one out. They run forty-five bucks. They come with the adapters. They fit pretty much every anything. I don't have one here. Um, they're in in the warehouse, yeah. <laughs> so I would I would have brought one up. I'd have to disappear for a few minutes to go get one to show you. No, nah, you're good. I mean, I might have to message you. Yeah. You know, because I, I have a bunch of different shift yeah. knobs that, that I've made over yeah. the years and, and you know, found and, right. and done. Yeah, I got, a, I got a few of them. Yeah. Yeah, we make them the, the metal flake gold, the yellow, the green, the red, the blue, the purple, the black to match that grand steering wheel. Cool. So they look pretty yeah. cool. Especially nowadays, everybody puts their shifter yep. up tall. Mm -hmm. So you'll be looking, there'll be this tall metal flake shift knob up That's high. Cool. So they look good. Yeah, I, I make my own sticks. I just I just get the steel, bend it up, and make my own. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I got a bunch, I got a bunch of weird stuff. Yeah. So I had a Budweiser beer tap. I just gave it to one of the other teachers. He had a Bud Light one in his truck, and nice. I gave him a Budweiser one. <laughs> <laughs> Very, cool. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. I like that. I just got some, I got a bunch of different ones. I got a I got an Elvis, a skeleton Elvis. You know when you go when you when you're on when you're driving on 40, um, there's yeah. that Klein's Corner in in Arizona, that big store Klein's Corner. It's just it, it's just yeah. they just sell dust collectors and trinkets. I stop in there when I go to right. SEMA every year just to see what they have because nice. a lot of those little figurines are plaster, and I bore them out. The ones I like, I bore them out. I make yeah. a sleeve and epoxy is so I've got a different one. I got a Frankenstein <laughs> cool. head. I had um I had the one it was Herman Munster for when he was doing the drag racing with the with the hat on and the goggles. Oh I yeah, got, yeah. I, got awesome. all of those. I got a bunch of stuff, man. That's I a, cool. I had a pinky in the brain, but cool. I lost I it. That. I got I gotta find another one in a pinky in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. That's a fun one. Yeah. Yeah, I like the cartoons yeah, too, good. so <laughs> yeah. So, but I have another question for you. Now I'm gonna go yeah, back to the, I'm gonna got? go back to the beginning again. Your your <laughs> sure. dad's nickname was the Rod Father, okay? Right. So right. now you're a young kid you're looking up to your dad, who is a celebrity, you know, in his own right back in the day. With the cars right. that he built, how did that affect your style of building hot rods? Well, it's I'm stuck in tradition and, and not really stuck. I like doing period correct. When I had my hot rod shop, we did Chevy straight six, flatheads, and Nellhead Buicks. We didn't do anything small block. So if you back up 
10 years ago when I sold the shop, then back up 20 years that I had the shop, we were doing stuff, you know, period correct or nostalgia rods or custom cars way before this trend yeah. started, way before the nostalgia yeah. rod or rat rod came out. Yeah. And back then, you know, back in the 80s and 90s, people were saying, well, when are you going to paint this thing? And I'm like, paint it. It's done. <laughs> they go, no, you got you to gotta paint yeah. this thing. I'm like, it's, it's going to rust. I'm like, no, this is a done car. You realize how much work it took me to go backwards? Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Uh, and they just, yeah, they didn't quite get it yet. It was too early. And then now with social media and everything, it's very, very popular to do the patina look and stuff like that. Yeah. But we were doing it way, way back then. White walls, tuck and roll, all that stuff. Like and like dad, you know, dad was more the performance guy. He had a um, 42 Merc that he had when he got married with, with my mom back in 1959. And it was a total sleeper because it was, it was on big and littles, white wall tires with Fiesta hubcaps, black, stock outside, bone stock, except for a front to headlights, and put 41 Studebaker taillights in the tail end. But it was all 59 Chrysler throughout the Man. car. So they'd pull up and they'd race traffic light to traffic light. Well, you pull up in a 42 Merc, everybody assumes it's got a flathead in it. And he made so much money in that car racing traffic light to traffic light because he's all running ahead yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody realized that. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. And and a few years ago, we duplicated that car because he always talked about it, how the, the one that got away, the one that got away. So I found a 42 Merc. And I replicated it off of his stories and then gave it to him and mom. And they drive that around all the time. Oh, just cool. lock, all 59 Chrysler, all tuck and roll inside. That's cool. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, dad has a lot of fun in that car. Mom says he's, you know, he's 20 again. Oh, yeah. That's awesome, though. Man. Yeah. The old cars have a way of bringing you back in time to when things were better. and things Oh, absolutely. Were yeah. Everybody always asks me, what's my favorite car? And I go, well, it's hard to say because you get a different attitude in a different car. Yeah. You drive something chopped, you tilt your head, the hand goes on the steering wheel so you can see out. You drive the 50, the arm goes out the side, you know, elbow down. You just get a different attitude when you get into a different car. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That's so true. That's very true. That's awesome. Yeah. That's freaking awesome. You know, you, yeah. you just had a power curve when you were going backwards building cars. That's how I look at it. Yeah, you know, you just had curve, yeah, yeah, you definitely. Yeah, because... Yeah, you know, Boyd Connington was one of my best customers. He used to buy a lot of stuff from me. And he always asked, why don't you carry any of my products uh, on your shelf or on the walls? And I said, well, you know my slogan, right? And he goes, no, I don't. I said it was, avoid the Boyd. And he would just crack <laughs> up and stuff like that. Because <laughs> that was during the billet crazy. Oh, yeah. Everything was, you know, monochromatic and aluminum yeah. and milled out. And I was, you know, white walls, tech and roll, nail head Buick, tri, tri power. And I was all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. You, were, you were the exact opposite of him. That's yeah, totally the opposite. Even though we were great friends and we'd buy stuff from each other back yeah. and forth. Yeah. That's funny though. Avoid the void. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I never heard that before. He just gave me a look and shook his head. <laughs> That's awesome. When you're good friends, you get away with stuff like that, you know? So <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah really I'll tell was. you what, he's really missed, man. He he really Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was a great guy. I really liked him a lot. We had some deep conversations and it was nice getting away from the cameras and just sitting down having lunch and, and picking these guys' brains. Oh, yeah. You know? Ed Roth was a good friend of mine, and we just sat down and just talked for hours. The crazy thing is, is I never learned a stitch of pinstriping from Ed, but I learned how to market. I learned how to brand all from Ed Roth. All my marketing uh, schemes and everything, if you want to say, is from Ed. That's where I learned all that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what? He was good at it. Oh, yeah. yeah, he was. Big Daddy right. Roth was. He knew how to do that. That's for damn sure. He did. Uh, that. I mean, he yeah. he could. He probably could write a couple of chapters in any marketing book that any university is using. Because he uh, totally agree. Totally agree. He had some wild ideas, and they would work. That's a crazy right. thing. He would tell me. He goes, "Watch this," and he would give me the idea of what he's going to do, and it would work. It would really, really work. It was great to see it happen. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Uh, yeah. Not not textbook, not scripted, just you know, off the cuff, and it was, it was you know, branding that rat fink and branding his raw mm -hmm. name. So it worked really mm -hmm. well. It's iconic. Oh yeah, it's oh yeah, it is. And and, and, and you actually going on. You know, you actually have. I saw that uh, you know uh, on the background going up the stairs, the top of the stairs. You had the rat fink up there at the top. It, yeah. It's iconic. Yeah, I got a few original pieces from that. I got a lot of notes, and I've got a couple of business cards from him, and. You know, some personal stuff that he's given me that I have. Yeah. You know, people, that must mean a lot. People have that that 
it got that uh, logo on things, and they don't even know where it's from. Is this right. a cool piece? Yeah. Yep, yeah. Younger people. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's it's amazing. Yeah, just like uh, I was in in Vegas at Tima, and a girl walks in the elevator, and she had a Von Gett shirt on, and I said, "Oh, I knew Kenneth Howard," and she's always oh, the designer, and I said, "No, not the designer." <laughs> oh, I explained to her God. who he was, and yeah. yeah oh my God! Yeah, really? Kind of and you know, somebody sold someone sold all that. I'm guessing because that came right. That came that became so popular so fast. You know what I mean? Right. And. Yeah, I met did. so many people who never knew who he was. They just liked the flying eyeball, yeah. so they bur- they bought the shirt. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah. It was like, wait a minute, yeah. you know? Yeah. Right. So it was kind of it was that was kind of yeah. weird the way that whole thing worked out. I don't know, but someone had to yeah, afford the right. rights to that. I, I mean, I yeah, can't. I think towards that. But... So but yeah. Yeah. That's just the way it went. But he's considered the father of our industry. Oh, no, he you is. Know? Yeah. He was a a blacksmith sign painter by trade. And in the early 50s, I mean, early, late 49, right at 50, a guy came into the shop and had a scratch on the hood of his car and asked if he can put some of that scroll work that they do around a name. Mm -hmm. If they have a name of a sign, their scroll fancy work around it. He asked to put some of that fancy work on the hood of his car, just cover up a ding, and thus pinstriping was born. That's how it started. Once that got out in the public, then the next car, the next car, then Ed Roth came in, Dean Jeffries, Larry Watson, wow. and it took off from there. But that's that's, that's really how cool. it got started, with just by necessity, trying to hide a scratch. That's so crazy. That's nuts. It, it yeah. really it's is. It's freaking it's huge crazy. now, you know? I remember yeah. when, and now it's, it's, it's everywhere almost, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Snowboard, skateboard, dance. Yeah. You can go to any mall, and there's a sign work with pin- mm-hmm. pinstriping on it. You know, like I said, I'm doing KitchenAid. And some of the ladies don't even have any concept of the hot rod industry of where it came from. They just like the yeah, way it looks. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. little. Yeah, social media has made it very mainstream. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. Next time I take a trip and Lisa's looking for all the kitchen stuff, and I'm coming to see you, she'll be mad yeah. at me, but at the same time, I'll be very fashionable <laughs> when it returns. Exactly. <laughs> right. That's when I right. get done with mine, oh, I'll we... send you a picture of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to pinstripe it. There you go. <laughs> Good, awesome. good. You you can do it. I try. I have faith in you. You can do well, it. I, you know, I remember when I was doing muscle car. I got a friend. You know, Brian Igor. He he uh, he does pinstriping. Right. He's out of Virginia Beach, and I had him. I had him come down, and we filmed him striping on the show. And he he, he did nice. the toolbox that I was working out of. I had a big Matco toolbox. He did the toolbox. You know, nothing crazy. All simple stuff was done in red. It was real right. tasteful. But I mean. People still mention that to me today. They're like, man, who did that? I remember that guy doing that. You know, who was he? Is he still around? That kind of stuff. And he's on Facebook, you know? And what what I like about it is it's great to see it on a car, but when you see it live, especially at a show and somebody's doing it, it gives you a whole different perspective of it. And I still get the people walking up and going, is that how it's done? And my answer is always, well, if there's an easier way, let me know. But yeah, this is how it's done. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was tape or I thought it was a sticker. Or, you know, I go, no, it's all hand. Yeah. They, they're just kind of amazed. Not saying I'm the greatest or anything, but any striper, when they watch them live, people just get amazed of how it's done, watching the hand create Whoa. and high coordination and stuff like that. I think it's it's super cool. I love um, All your stuff is freehand, right? Yeah, everything's Whoa. freehand. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, have you seen yeah. the video of Keith Eccles? You know Keith, right? I, I, no, I have he, not. He has a he has a video where he's doing a semi truck and he starts at the top and he just goes down and he just and but when he's done, it's like, oh my god, look at that! Yeah. It's like I remember there was yeah. um, it was uh, where was it? It, it was it was itchy. Around the corner from me, right. the guy, his, his name was Bobby Joe Kester. He lived all the way on the other, the far corner, around the corner from my house. And he had like a 68 Chevy van and it was black. And Itchy did, I think it was five colors and it was just flames. But every, every lick of flames, like he did one, one all the way down the side and say blue. Then he took red, did red. Then he took yellow, did yellow. And it was five different colors all intertwined of all flames. None of the flames were painted except the stripes. And it just looked so crazy. And I've never seen that again. But the thing that always amazed yeah. me is just 
how you you know they're not the same on both sides. You know what I mean? Right, of course. But they're so close that when you look at one side and go at the other side, it's like, holy fuck, they match. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's the thing, and yeah. the other thing that always got me was how, and you see it on you see it on a lot of like like a forty Ford with a trunk deck is is a good size trunk deck. Like there's all yeah. this scroll work, and it just looks like a bunch of lines. But you step back, and it's like a tiki head. You know yeah. what I mean? You can, right. you can, right. Once you stop and, and once you step back from it, you can see the whole tiki head in there, and it, right. it just looks like all scroll work. That's that's the kind of stuff yeah. that amazes me. Yeah, it amazes me what's in these guys' yeah. head where they come up with this idea. And, 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 yeah. Yeah. and, and I travel overseas, as you know, and like in Japan and Australia, they're really into it, and they're, they're all in. And what's nice about, like, Japan, for instance, they're very disciplined on what they do. Right. Mm -hmm. And when they focus on, on striping, I'm like, gosh, how did you guys get so good so fast? And it's um, we work, you know, 10, 13 hours a day, then we stripe every day for three hours because they're very disciplined. Wow. And I, well, how could you not be good striping like that every day? And they're, and they're putting that little Japanese That's... twist on it. I love it. I love what they've done yeah. with it. Yeah. They're taking it to a whole other level that you didn't think about. Well, and I mean, and it becomes cultural at that point because they, they're putting their own. Yeah, uh, on, absolutely. Which is, a diff, which is a totally different yeah. culture. So yeah, it makes yeah. perfect sense that where you go in the world, it's going to be a little bit different. Even, even if they try to do it like really traditional, it still has that their flair on it. It's just like a signature, yep. man. Everything you do is gonna yep. is gonna have the, is gonna have your your flair. Everyone is different. Right. That's the other thing that makes it so awesome. It's 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 art, man. You can say what you want, but it's art, no, it's art. and it's serious art. Yeah, cool. they're they're really no uh, pumping out lowriders over there right now. And uh, I've been watching videos, yeah. man. They're coming through with flaked out. <laughs> Dude, Japan there. always. Japan always. They've been doing lowriders a long yes. time, and they they knock out some yeah. serious traditional stuff, man. They and, do. I mean, they really, really. It's thirteen do. colors. They, they're plate. a lot of fun. Like I said, they're very they're very disciplined, and and they're all mm -hmm. in when they're doing it. They are. They don't do it halfway. They do it all yep. the way. Top to bottom, front to back, and it's it's a beautiful piece oh, yeah. of art. Their cars are like yeah. art. Yeah, that's what I like. To go to what the moon was eye your? Show. That's one. That's one show I'd love to go to. Is the Moon Eye Show? Oh, it's great! It's a really fun show for a one day show. It's uh, a lot of a lot of people show up. A lot of volunteers put that show on. It's a lot of work for a one day show, but it's a yeah, blast. I've heard that. a lot of fun to go see. I've heard that from people. Yeah. Yeah, the videos on YouTube don't do it justice. It's so much fun. Yeah, I need, I need, to, I need to try and get to that show. That, that's just, it's been going on for years. Always the first Saturday in December. Oh, is it? I never, I didn't know that. I knew it was in December, yeah. but I just never. Yeah, always the first Saturday in December, in Yokohama. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to that. This guy just gotta make that happen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gotta happen. Get right yeah, on that. That's just, it's just cool. God, it is. Fucking a. All right, well, yeah. guys, it's ten oh three, and I have not had coffee yet. Well, hold on one minute. I'm gonna show a video real quick. Hold on one minute. All right, what do we got? All right, hold on one second. Where All right, here we go. My phone. All right, check this out. Ah, uh, there he is, right there. I'm coming forward to see. Oh wait, what happened? I don't know. My internet's going slow. Hold on one second. It's coming. That's all right. See, that's what I love right there. Free hand, one hand. That's awesome. He's just focusing on what he's doing. Do you know him? I know of. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was out at SEMA at... Uh, the one shot booth. Nice. Yeah, when I'm in SEMA, I get to see what's in front of me. That's it. I don't get yeah. I don't get to see much of it. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm the same way. I'm I'm so busy just doing uh yeah. doing my thing. I don't get the ch I don't get the chance to walk around and and do other stuff. Yeah. But see, that's what I like. You know, Look how I fluid it is. And all and I know. All you guys do it like that. You're so fluid like that. 
Look at that. Yeah, that's amazing. It is. <laughs> Love that. Look at that. It's, it's like it's no no effort. It's in his head and it's coming out mm -hmm. of his hand. That's what I love. Yeah. But the thing is, is all of you guys, all of you stripe like that. You know what I mean? It's like you, you're running this line and all of a sudden I'm going to press it a little, bit, a little bit harder because I want it to be fatter. And then the line becomes fat and it goes right back to thin. It's like, why did you make it fatter there? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, because, I messed, because I messed up. Actually, <laughs> yeah, <there you're> <laughs> But that's, but you know, I mean, that's just so crazy, right? And now, yeah, when you yeah, when you load the brush, what's the reason for right. loading the brush? It's it's I it's I can't explain because it's experience. It's a feeling. I feel it in my hands. Right. I know what it feels like when that brush strikes through the paint. Right. I can feel it. Now, as I stripe, um, it's it sounds for me. Each line has a sound. And it's hard to explain how it works, but I can actually feel the brush and, and hear the, the music, if you want to say that, for the left and right, left and right as I go. So it, hmm. it, it's just really strange how it works. Other than saying it's a God-given talent, I can't really explain how it works. Other than that, I, you know, I teach classes on how to strike, and I tell them, you've got to find that sweet spot, spot because I can't teach that. Right. You've got to learn that feeling of what you and the brush become one and, and dial it in and, and find out what it feels like to drag that line. And it may take you a thousand lines, but when you find it, you'll know and you'll get it. Right, with you. right. Yeah. That is so wild. Because, I mean, yeah. every time I watch someone stripe, they're, they're always fluid like that guy was. And it, it, and it doesn't matter how long the line is. You know what I mean? Right. It, you, it, it's like you said, they see it. And, and I, I get that. Because yeah. when I build a chassis, I know how it's going to look right. in my head. But I, I guess it's yeah. because I've never really talked to anybody who stripes like I, I know stripers, right. but I've never had a conversation like this with them. Right. You know, so I never, I never yeah. asked. I just know. Yeah. Know. And it's crazy because like when I'll do door handles, you know, one side, one side, I'll draw one line and I got 30 seconds to draw the same line to get on the other side. So I'll run to the other side because my memory will give a 30 second memory of what I did. So I'll go back there, do the exact line, come back to another line back and forth. If somebody stops me and talks to me, it's done. Uh -huh. I got to go right back to the first one and kind of flow it in my head and then run right, to the other side. Right, 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 right. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's it's strange how little things throw you off that, you know, you don't think about it until you're actually right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's so wild. I got, a, yeah. I got a friend here. Yeah, some guys can do one door handle and then they'll take a picture of it and go to the other and side and kind of copy yeah. it. And I'm like, no, I do one line, one line, back and forth, back and forth. That's how I do it. Left and right, left and yeah, right. Yeah, because I saw a guy using a Polaroid one time. He took a Polaroid. Had, yeah. He, and it was before cell phones, of course. But he shot it with, right. with a Polaroid. And then I've seen another guy. It, itchy would go side to side on, like, stuff like door handles. Yeah. Because I've seen him do that. I remember him as a kid doing that when, when I was. I just like it. I figure the customer is paying for, for this, you know. Uh, the Vaughn touch, as I say, I want to do it where they can say, you know, he freehanded. He didn't draw it. He didn't trace it. Right. He didn't pre-do it. He followed the theme of the car, and it matches. Usually when I do a car, I usually do an, end up a pair of high heel shoes for the wife to match a car. That's usually what happens. Right. Uh -huh. Because they'll ask me to bid the car, and I go, well, are you sure that's all you want? Because they out on the dash, the firewall, the glove box, the door jams, inside the trunk. You know, shoes, a purse, and it, it keeps going. So, right, right. I always make sure, yeah, if, okay, if that's it, this is what you're going to pay for. And then by the time you're done, you've already <laughs> tripled that price because they keep throwing in more stuff. <laughs> going through the whole house. <laughs> yeah, it, it's pretty funny because you'll start, you got to give yourself a lot of time. The guy makes an appointment and you go, okay, it's a two hour job. You're there the whole eight hours all day long. <laughs> you went through the house, the office, you know. <laughs> Oh, which I like. I think it's great. It's very flattering, but it's just you have to prep for that. So you couldn't line up. You know, two and three cars. Bring extra paint. <laughs> yeah. That's. I got a I got a buddy here. His name's Guy Shively. Have you ever heard of him? Guy Shively. The name sounds familiar. Yeah, he's here in Ohio. Um, he's a good friend of mine, and he married a lady. He's divorced now from her, but she was she was a good artist too and i seen him go down the side of a car and she was on the other side doing the same and you couldn't tell it was a different wow. different person yep they both were hitting wow. it. it was pretty tough yeah that's crazy i put together 
Like it's like on some shows, there's no way I can do all the cars that are there because you get pretty busy. Right. You have to limit how many cars you can do a day. So I put together this thing called Von Hot Rod Spin Striping Circus. And what it is is I've got six stripers that are all about the same caliber. And we work together and we'll line up two cars. And let's just say this one wants red and white. This one wants, um, let's see, black and blue. So I get one guy with red and I say, okay, you start the front. I get another guy here. This one wants blue. You start blue. When this guy's done with blue, another guy jumps in and he's got white. Hmm. So we can knock a car out in 15 minutes by doing red. One guy does red to red. He switches colors. Mm -hmm. Another guy's doing white to white. By the time this car's coming out, another one's pulling in and they're ready to do the other one. Same thing with this car out. This car in. And we can knock cars out super fast. It's so much fun. And we get to pick on each other. We just have a lot of fun doing stuff like that. Not only that, you get get to see the the different styles that each guy does. Yeah, and what's nice about it is we work together, and the idea is to to make the car look like one striper did it. Whether two guys or three guys touched it, it's making the car look like one guy did it. That's the trick of having all these guys do Mm -hmm. it because nobody is better than anybody else. Right, right. The idea is to focus on the car, make a happy customer, and he goes away like one guy did it. That is so crazy. So that took – it is. It took a little get used to because everybody has their own right, style. Yeah. So you got to find that happy medium, the happy sweet spot to make it work. Hey, look, that's my studio. That's where I'm standing right now. Damn yeah. It, man. Yeah, that's where I paint right there. That big wooden box. Yeah. That's my paint, paint box that I travel around the world yep. with. It's um, They gave it to me as a gift. There's 61 stripers that striped on it. Every striper did one color and signed it. Oh, Dude, nice. that is cool. Thank you. That's cool. So do you, I take it you use one shot, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. One shot's the best. It's enamel based. It's oh, look at that. That's uh, one of the glass cases in the museum. The fire truck you see in there, if you can see it, is mine that I when I was a kid. The bottom shelf has all my Hot Wheel toys when I was a kid, all original Damn. stuff. Wow. There's a a Kodak camera in there. That's my first camera that I got when I was a kid. And if you look at the top, you can see an Ed Roth trash yeah, can. That's an original trash can from Ed. From 1995. Nice. Man. There's yeah. stuff in there. No, oh, there's my staircase. That goes up to my studio. <laughs> so, stuff. so what can, can me and Luke get a, a tour if we come out that way? I'm sorry you're breaking up. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a bad connection. <laughs> Man. There's my shoebox. There you go. There's the car. You got a Volkswagen bug in there too. I do. I just bought that actually about two months ago. I had my very first car I, I bought when I was 14 was a VW and I sold it when I graduated and I always wanted another one. So I just bought that. So I'm going to give it the Vaughn touch on that. I'm going to, I'm going to change the color to that ivory, do the interior in red. Yep. So I'm going to start that this summer. That is so cool. Thanks. Nice. That glass case again. Uh, these are um, original art pieces from different artists. You can see there's my uh, 41 Ford up there at the top. Mm-hmm. There are my 54 Merc to the right of that. My 47 Lincoln Zephyr, the turquoise one, and the um, shoebox where I'm leaning against it. Yeah. And then the bottom picture, it looks like it's broke. I'm dropping a flathead into my, my 50, and the I-beam broke, and the flathead falls on the front of the car. No. Yeah, so you can see all these renderings from different artists. There's my 61 Caddy is in there from Steve Stanford. There's uh, my 41 Merc again down there. The purple one, that's the one that's a Hot Wheel you can buy at Target. Oh, yeah? That is crazy. Yeah, that's the um, that's this one. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. There it yeah. is. Yeah, it's a 41 Ford. It's- I signed a deal with Mattel in, in 97 to make my 41 a Hot Wheel. Oh, these are lamps I do. I build these for different customers. That's sweet. <laughs> cool. yeah, thanks. And you know what? You can find yeah, the parts everywhere. You know what I mean? One one valve cover. Yeah. I don't I don't do anything um rusted or old looking. Everything is all new parts. It's whatever the customer wants. This one obviously wanted Ford products, so that's a Ford valve right. cover and the air cleaner is actually off a of Honda. I needed a nightlight, so I stuck that there. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Thanks. 
Uh, there's one I built for SEMA. That's a uh, <clears throat> Fairlane hubcap, 53 Chevy horn ring, then a 39 Chevy fog light, then Model A tail light, and then all the, the copper you see, all the wiring runs through the copper. And the tail light and fog light light up as night lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta have that those are fun to build i like building those right now i'm building a pedal car i turned into a gasser that's turned into a coffee table <laughs> uh, i gotta have it done by next week how did that, wait a minute back up how did it go from yeah. how did it go from a gasser to a take coffee table <laughs> <laughs> well he wanted a, a coffee table and he wanted me to build it, and I asked him what he was into, and he, he happened to be into gassers. So I said, okay, I've got a, an idea, if you're okay with it. And he said, sure. So I'm taking That's a clock I built. That's out of a scooter tire. Oh, my God. Yeah. That clock is super cool. That is I really cool. like that. was a fun one. Yeah. I really like that one. Yeah. That is neat, man. Yeah, it is. Thank it's you. It's all timing chain gears and a couple of valve springs. A couple of Alfred guesses. They're very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, that's neat. Yeah, whenever I go picking, I find stuff. I'm like, oh, I gotta need this, and oh, I need this, and out comes this in my head. So that's cool. But yeah, the pedal car I'm turning into gasser. It's got go kart tires in the in the back for slick. It sits on a rake. It's got all the sponsors on it. And it's got a drag butterfly steering wheel in it, with of course my shift knob sticking up really high. Oh and yeah. Then it's on a. It's on a beveled wood with a moon tank out front, a parachute on the back, and then there's a beveled glass that sits on top of it. So the pedal car sits on wood, a wood base. It's bolted to the wood. Then there's four poles that hold the glass up. So the pedal car is under the glass. Hmm. That's cool. So it's a coffee table. It's a little bit. It's a bit heavy though. Well, yeah. What kind of, okay. what kind but of, it's super what cool. It's got ejectors coming out of the hood. It's got headers sticking down the bottom. It's super cool. What um? What body did you use? Uh, 55 Chevy. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a, it's a, just a typical, you know, gasser. And yeah. It's a Peloton. But it's got gauges in it. It's got a moon tack in it. It's got all the right bells and whistles in it. Yeah. I think there's more money in the pedal car than the whole table. Yeah. <laughs> it's, all the parts. it's got machine turned gauges in it. It's got everything. It's, it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Everybody goes, you know what you got into it? I go, yep. Yeah, but that's what the paying customer wants, and so right, right, right. I let them know that it, right. they're very expensive p items, but that's what they want. You got, you got ten dollars worth of wood, fifteen dollar piece of glass, and a two thousand dollar. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but it'll be it'll be one of a yeah, kind, and there'll be another one. Yeah, and he'll see it, and he'll and he'll love it. You know what I mean? He'll, he'll, yeah, he'll love it. But it's a conversation piece because then now his friends will come over and they're they're gonna focus and talk about that. Right, and, right. You know, it's it's metal flake, metal flake blue with white scallops and pinstriped and powder blue and it's got striping all around. It's got the A gas number on the side, all the sponsors down the middle. It's got his name as a driver. That's cool. Plus, like I said, the butterfly steering wheel, the shift knob. It's got. It's got tax in it. It's got a blue windshield, a moon tank out front. That's all. Awesome. Injectors out the hood and a parachute out the back. That's it's all cool. to scale. So it's a little parachute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's nice. Awesome. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. I got to get my coffee. I'm dying over here. All right. Yeah. We we all really right. appreciate you coming on, man. Uh, yeah, we do. Oh, uh, no problem. Thank you. I had a blast. No like, you guys get to know me a little bit better now. It's more to me than just pinstriping. There's yeah. A, yeah. a lot behind me and there's full stuff and behind me it's not just me what you see on facebook yeah so, right a lot right. goes into what i do even even michael said thank you it was one of the guys in the chat room even he said thank you that's so you cool right, that's awesome. i'm telling you Von, that's, awesome. awesome. yeah. that's just neat i like this shit it's just so cool from ever out in yeah. california i'll give you a holler if you're in town we'll get you. yeah please do yeah cool. you have got all my contact yeah every yeah. time you're out this way then we'll talk more on that castle show. I definitely will bug you and take yeah, man. That. I mean, yeah. Then, I mean, just give me. Yeah. I got and anybody listening, out. just follow me on. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. Anybody that's listening, just everything's at Von Hot Rod. I'm easy to get a hold of. Send me a message. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, just, if you need you know, any merchandise? Keep me in the loop. There. Keep me in the loop because I I drive. I try not to fly because I get blood clots when I fly. So I'd have to drive okay. about, which isn't a big deal. I mean, it's just. Okay. Hop on for well, just let me know. Yeah. We can tie in. You know, if you have other shows you're doing, yeah, we can tie it all in. So yeah. Well, I'm trying to, I mean, 
I don't do many shows on the, on the West Coast. I just don't. It's just, uh, it doesn't work out that way. If I can get some out, right. I'll definitely go. You know, I've done the sure. National Roads show and I've done Sacramento. Right. That's really it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. We were there. We were there together, Grand National yeah. and Sacramento. Yeah. I mean, and that, we were there at the same time. and that was years ago when you stop and think about it, man. That was a yep, long time. It was. So I haven't, I haven't been to years. Sacramento in a few years. I went this last year. They booked me for it. They booked. Uh, myself and Amanda and Joe from Iron Res yeah. Resur Restoration. They, yeah. well, it was us three were the celebrities. So we had a lot of fun together. I've worked with them before. Yeah. They're good people. We've had them on the show. Yeah. 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 Very good. yeah. yeah. yeah I'm working on, I'm working on, uh, I do his booking. So I'm working on getting some stuff out West. I got a couple sure. contacts that I'm working yeah. on. So it's, it's a, it's a hustle, man. You just got <laughs> It is. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's a job. That's for sure. Yeah, just let me know. Let me know any way I can help. Yeah, awesome. man. And yeah, thanks man. to the fans out there. I appreciate you guys watching us and listening and, and following me around. Thank you very much. Yeah. And more people, yeah. more people will see it because it, it's, it'll live on Facebook now. Yeah, it'll live so, on Facebook perfect. and yeah. uh, YouTube, and it'll also be on our website. Yeah. So people, and, and we're we're on uh, iTunes now, too. So it'll be on iTunes in about a week. Yeah. So perfect. People Excellent. will get to see it. Yep. Yeah. Sounds good. So, okay. okay. All right, so All right, guys. You want you want to sign off, Lewis? Yes, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming tonight. My name is Lewis Lee from All Ends Magazine and co-host of Planet Traffic. We do this every week on Wednesdays until Lou gets out of school. Then we're going back to Thursdays. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'd like to thank our guests for coming on, man. You really uh, open our eyes in different angles. You know, it's really cool to thank see you. see a different flow. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank so. you so much. All right, Vaughn. Later, man. All right. We'll see you guys. All right. Ciao.